guys today we are finally back with another video and we are going to be making body cream everybody who knows me knows this is my favorite thing to make i love it love it love it love it love it and i just can't get enough of it it's also one of the easiest things that i make so here i am getting ready to make some body cream it has been a while since i came on this channel and made a video i do have some videos that i have planned um the first two videos that i post are gonna be in my old apartment um this are these are two videos that i made actually before i moved out as you can see in this video um i was actually like doing a lot at one time no lie i was literally making body cream but i was also making a scrub i was also sanitizing my lotion and scrub jars i was washing dishes like trying to clean up behind myself so i had a lot going on you see me bouncing and dancing because at first i was having a good time like i was really i was really enjoying myself when i was making my cream i had my little music going you know what i'm saying i was in my zone so um you'll see me um, pour the emulsifiers in there again i started out with hot water first and then i had all my hard butters and oils which would be my emulsifying wax my um steric acid my shea butter um and i put i believe i put I want to say it's grapeseed oil or coconut oil is one of the ones that I use. I can't remember the recipe right off hand, but that's what I use. And I melted all of that on the stove. Um, and once it came down and it was fully melted, I went ahead and poured that in. When you see me pour it in, it does auto automatically turn the cream to the white color, which is the color that it, it will eventually stay. Now, I don't pour my essentials in at this point, which you can tell from my other previous videos because the the batch is too hot it has to be at a certain temperature which in a minute you will see me pour um, or use my thermometer this is my thermometer that i use um and the temperature right now is like anywhere between 150 to 200. so when the temperature drops it's gonna drop down to close to about maybe i want to say 120. this is just me giving you a close-up to try to see if you can see the numbers it took me forever to focus it so this is actually around 150 is what the temperature is sitting at right now um so when it gets down to like 120 or less that's when i go in and i add my essential oils which is basically like my vitamin e my preservative my fragrance if i'm using one which i typically don't use a fragrance when it comes down to my large bat batches what i do is i make the recipe without a fragrance and then once the cream has set, cause this sits overnight before I use it, then I will um, weigh off what I need and apply the fragrance accordingly. So right now you'll just see me waiting on the cream to cool. You will see me come in and mix it occasionally. And then you'll also see me cleaning up behind myself. Cause baby, that's what we do. We clean up behind ourselves and we don't leave a mess. So it is what it is. So here I am coming in, um, getting ready to do another checkup. I changed my gloves. I really do change my gloves often because you're always touching things and you don't want to contaminate. So I changed my gloves and now I'm coming over to check my temperature. I'm going to mix for a little while longer. Um, and once this settles a little bit more, then I'll go in and I'll add my essential oils. But I'm going to show you what happens when you 
start doing too much stuff at one time i literally almost lost this whole batch of cream but i was able to catch it and save it um and it actually came out correctly and nothing messed up it's still like regular cream but just just keep watching you'll see what i'm talking about Now, as you can see here, I let the cream sit for too long and then my camera battery also died on me. So I had to start recording on my phone. So what you see me doing is trying to mix in my essential oils and my preservative and stuff into a batch that has already thickened up on me. And I'm trying to mix it all the way from the top to the bottom without making a freaking mess, without the cream going everywhere and splashing everywhere. Like, it was a hot mess for real, but I managed to use my real long spoon, the longest spoon that I have, and I mixed it from the top to the bottom. And um, you'll see me in a minute. I came back and I used the, um, the, the mixer, the mixer thing that I have. I can't think of the name of it right now but I used the mixer and um, the stick blender. So I put that in there and I mixed it all up. And then I took the spoon, you'll see me use the spoon again and mix everything up again. But this is part of the reason why when I craft, I try to craft one thing at a time. But this day I was so frustrated by the end of all this because like I said, I'm moving around very quickly. I'm trying to, prep for the scrubs that I was making as well as make this body cream. We were also in the middle of moving out of this apartment and moving into our home. So it was like boxes and stuff everywhere. I'm tripping over this, I'm tripping over that. Like it really was a hot mess, but at the end I was I managed to get everything together and baby we made us some body cream. So when we come back cuz like I said, I've split this video into two. The next video is going to be how I made the sugar scrub. So the sugar scrub that I made on this exact same day, you will see me post that video um, next. And then after that, I have some new content for you guys. And I really just can't wait to see moving forward me getting back into this channel and trying to go back to formulating like what would you guys like to see i'm thinking of making some small videos of me trying to formulate new products because i want to do like a hair cream i want to do um a conditioner i want to try to jump back into making body washes and shampoos and i i want to show you guys my process of my my process of me doing it when i tried to do it before i didn't show my process but now i kind of want to so um as always thank you guys for watching thank you guys for supporting me supporting my business supporting my channel supporting my social media like however y'all support me i appreciate you i really do and thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you enjoy part two have a have a good day bless stay blessed